Hi there. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a ISO file from um, maybe a folder, you know, like um, if you have a collection of pictures or drivers on in one folder and you like to have that on a CD and uh, like to have an ISO file so you can archive that somewhat and um, yeah, that's show you how to do this um, first of all um, let's see what I got here all right let's use my drivers folder all right, so let's see what we have in drivers okay I have two subfolders in here for two machines I o own um, all right, let's see how big that is um, Okay, it's about 380 meg. Okay, that's a good size for an ISO file. So let's go ahead and use MK ISO FS dash R dash O. Then we specify the the name uh, for the ISO uh, for the ISO file. In my case, I use drivers dot ISO, and then we specify the folder it should use okay and now we hit enter so now it's generating the the ISO file which will be done here any moment okay and it said it wrote the ISO file with 379 mag so which is good all right let's go ahead and create a checksum use the tool md5 sum and then we uh, tell them the name of the ISO file drivers.iso and then um, tell them where to create or what the uh, MD5 file should be so we use um, the same usually use the same name as the ISO, ISO file itself and just add MD5 on the end so now it creates a checksum on there so now we can verify that the checksum is uh, correctly created so dash c and then drivers.iso okay oh yeah it's md5 and there we go it says driver iso is okay so with this uh, um, md5 so you can uh, check if you, for example, go to ubuntu.com and download an ISO file, and you also download the MD5 file. You can verify if this ISO file is still correct, or if someone modified it. So if the ISO, uh, the the MD5 sum fails, then you know, okay, something is not correctly downloaded, or someone optimized or uh, changed the content of that ISO file. Alright, I hope um, that helped and you find that useful and don't forget to go to my blog Ubuntu videocast.blogspot.com and subscribe and thank you very much and see you next time.